I think you knew my heart is. It's just me, uh, Scotty McLeod. I thought we'd pop up and say a quick hi to you. Sunday night, of course, nothing gets past me. Lots and lots to talk about. Tonight, we've got some interesting subjects for you. So uh, you can tell me what you think, but do come and join us. And as soon as you see the link, as soon as you see me pop up, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live on TikTok just for you and come and join us. You're very, very welcome. I am, of course, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster and the world's most humble man. And I just thought I'd pop up and say hi to you. There's Riley's joined us. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome, I say. Stephen joining us, Kirk Star, fantastic. There's Kyle. Good stuff. Welcome, 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 guys. Lovely to have you with us. Remember to follow me, of course. Very, very important. And we do the lives most nights. We pop up usually around nine o'clock for a wee chit chat with everybody watching. So there you are. There's official King Loggy Bear. Rangers are the best team. Yes, but people were misbehaving. Did you spot that? They'd all gone down to Ibrooks and they weren't properly socially distancing. Hello, my fellow Scottish McClue. How are you doing, says David Dink? You do a big hello from Belfast. Hi, mate. Good to see you again. Chacaroni, good afternoon to you, Scotty McClue, my friend. Brown blessed, says Jubster. Hey, Scotty Dinky Doo, says Wolfie. Lovely to have you with us, Wolfie. I hope you and your family are well. Thanks, Gavin. There we are. I was there. Naughty, naughty boy. There we are. I hope you are socially distant. Said TikTok. Thanks, good man, Scotty. Opinions of what happened to George Square. Don't like it at all. These people should not have been out there together. So there you are. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Perhaps we should ban football. That's what we're discussing tonight. Should we da ban football? So there we are. Lee Robinson, Rangers, champion of Scotland. Is that where we were getting fireworks from then? People have been setting off fireworks. Hope you're having a good day, sir, and you, sir. So there we are. Fantastic. And uh, who else have we got here? Dinky Doo Scotty, says the wonderful J Dog. Lovely to have you with us, J Dog, and Dinky Doo to you. Sunday night pop up, nothing gets past me, of course. Opinions and politics, so many. Greetings again from Holland. Free geek. Lovely to have you with us. Come into Hoosvilchard Kupete Heaven. So there we are. Fantastic. Now then, uh, lots to talk about, Scotty. Could you be a candidate to replace Neil Lennon? Do you want me to come and run the Celtic for you? Mon the hoops, we say. Can you say hi to my friend Sarah? Yes, celebratory fireworks, says Scottish. Hello. Hello, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us and welcome, welcome. Should we ban football, guys? Should we make it that that's the end of it? I don't think they should ban football. It brings in millions, if not billions, for the economy. But there's other things we could be doing. We could go on our phone, watch Scotty McClure on TikTok. So there we are. Dinky Doo. Hi, Scotty. How are you? Says Alice. Better for hearing from you, Alice. Lovely to have you with us. And a dinky do nah. So there we are. What's nah for? There we are. We don't know what you mean by nah, Riley. Is that you in the background? Yes, that's me. There we are with Lord Reith the Labrador. So there we are. The football is the best. Ah, yes, indeed. So there we are. So there's one football fan. Are there any more of you out there? I ask you. Have we shared this? Have you followed me? Richie says, do you want independence? Well, what I will say is, economically, Scotland would do very well on its own. So there we are. Hi, Scotty, says Ailey. Hello, Ailey. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. 3.2 billion to be exact. Well, J Dog, as you know from me, Brexit has just cost us 200 billion pounds for absolutely no reason at all and absolutely nothing to show for it. So there we are. So did you hear about the Leaning Tower of Pisa? No, I didn't. So there we are. But, uh, you know, it, it, I know that it does lean. 
So there we are, official king says Rangers won 55. Who cares, we are queen of the south as a real football team, says Barry. This is fun, I love football. Uh, fair play to Rangers from a Celtic fan, a Rugby bear. What a lovely, lovely, generous, thoughtful thing to say. There we are, Glasgow Rangers are the champions. Yeah, but I don't think everybody should have been down at Ibrox. That's naughty, naughty, naughty. You could put us into all lockdown again. Scotty, how are you doing? Hi, Angie. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure. Is your bookcase normally on my left and your dog's normally on my right? What's going on? No, that's right, Johnny Boy Johnny. Unless you've flipped your camera. Johnny Boy Johnny, you might have flipped it. Or, hang on, tell me if it changes now. There we are. Is it changed now, Johnny? How's that? Yes, tell me what you think there. Uh, agreed. So excellent stuff. Uh, and do let me know, Johnny. Can everybody follow me, please, guys? Very short of followers, but thousands are watching. Plastic football fans, Queen of the South are real fans. Ah, what's the difference then, Queen of the South? Come on, Barry. <coughs> Tell us, uh, you know, front up. They are the same team, Rangers and Celtic, from a Rangers fan, says Official King. I can't hear you, says Jake. Can everybody else hear me? Is it just Jake has got himself muted? Hello, is that you, Scotty? Hello, Numpty Head. How are you? <coughs> I say, can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear Scotty McClure? Can you all hear me, guys? There we are. Is that better? Uh, Rangers fans are disgraced today. The police did nothing to separate them during this pandemic. This goes out quite right. That's what I was thinking. Was there a problem with hearing me there, guys? Can you hear me now? I'm thinking that even if it's Celtic won, they'd still have had thousands of fans at Parkhead. Oh, no. I'm just thinking that even if Celtic had won, they would have had thousands of fans at Parkhead. Yeah, but it's naughty, naughty, naughty during the lockdown. You see, that's a, they must have all got together on their walkie-talkies, on their mobiles. Beam me up, Scotty. No bother, Freak. Lovely to have you with us. Oh, I was muted. I can hear you now. Oh, it was you, Jake. Not me. Dinky-doo, we can hear you. Could you hear me at the start? Hi, Scotty. Dinky-doo. Hello, Lion King. Lovely to have you with us. Has everybody followed me, please? Very important. Follow Scotty McClure. Follow me, follow me, follow me. There we are. Do please thank you for sending all your wonderful diamonds. It's very much appreciated. Quite low, Scotty. I can hear you loud and clear in Belfast. Rogi, were you on at the start? Could you hear me at the start? Angie, were you on at the start? I can hear you fine. Uh, so people usually say I'm too loud. Big fan, Scotty. Different views and things, but you're a true gent. Harry? You can always disagree with Scotty McClure. Never a problem. Loud and clear, says Johnny Boy Johnny. From the start, Johnny Boy Johnny. So there you are. What have we got here? Your home team is your own team. Why travel to Glasgow to watch that plastic stuff? Barry, tut, 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 tut. What if you were born in Glasgow? So there we are. What about that? I'm from Scotland, says Lucy. So there we are. Lucy, lovely to have you with us. Hello, Scotty, says FIFA. FIFA team builder, FIFA team builder. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, so wonderful stuff. Let's all tap the screen for Scotty, please. Hello, you're live. Lovely to have you with us. Oh, they panicked. Panicked and ran. No problem at all. We don't mind. <laughs> they did look a little bit nervous. A bit caught in the headlamps, I think, but never a problem. If you want to come and duel with me, you can do. Uh, so there we go. I'm with Barry up the Queen of the South, says John. I guess we'll see if the cases rise from tomorrow and Tuesday statistics. Well, they won't do it that soon, j Dog. You're probably my favorite TikToker, FIFA. You say lovely things. So there we go. Uh, are you on any radio again? That 
that's coming up, Daz. We think that will be coming up very, very soon. So we'll see what happens. I love that beard. So, James, do you like that, James? I'm making sure it's uh, not too um, long. There we are. Rebuilding the old brig, 1963. John Young, did I actually put you in the right direction with that? Did you genuinely not know? Is it not a, a known fact in the tune? Do you not hear people in conversation go, well, it was the time they were rebuilding the brig? Because tell me a bit more about it, please. Is the old brig take traffic or is it cordoned off or do you walk over it or what? I mean, do give us the story. What shampoo do you use? Apple shampoo at a pound. So there we are. Fantastic. Um, now, who have you got here? What did you eat for dinner? Neve wants the same diet as you. <laughs> well, I had double fish last night and a good helping of chips. So there you are. So I have to tell you about that. So a little bit naughty. And I had... Uh, uh, a sausage and egg tonight. <laughs> so there we go. Zach, no, you need to go and grow up or go on to some thing that's suited to your gutter idea, okay? This is just not the place for you, Zach, no. So there we go. Now, can I have a shout out from my sister, Lily? Yes, you can, Office King. No problem. So, sausage and eggs. Are you going to watch the interview with Harry and Megan? Well, are you guys? What do you think about it? What do you think of the Rangers fans out celebrating and risking lives due to COVID? Sean, I thought it was shocking. Shocking. So there we are. They shouldn't have done that. So Zach's apologized, so stay with us, Zach. This is grown-up stuff. You're better than that. You've already demonstrated that you're actually better than that. See, Scotty McClure has been broadcasting professionally on television and radio and online for 36 years. I've seen all that before. Not funny. 55, Scotty, what's your thoughts? Hmm. What about 56? What face wash do you use? Your skin is so clear. Just a little bit of the rights coal tar. Love your eye colour, buddy. Thank you, Court. What a nice thing to say. Ranger till we die. Well, you don't know. You might change to Celtic later on when you mature. There we are. Mon the gels and mon the hoops for balance, for balance. You see, very important. So if we say mon the gels, we've got to say mon the hoops as well, just for balance. Excellent. Yes, scream potato. There we are. Never scream potato. Just say potato. I'll just have a little bit of that. Guys, can you follow me, please? You're watching Scotty McClure. Look, 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 look. Can you see that? Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet, live on TikTok. Dink you do. Follow, like, share. Enjoy all the videos. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Should we ban football we're discussing tonight? Can I buy your water? Yes, it's a one pence a million gallons. Hello, Captain Bonsai. I'm back again. Thank goodness, Francesca. We have missed you. What's your favorite alcohol? Neve, I don't drink alcohol at all. So there we go. I just don't bother with any of that nonsense. I used to like a refreshment. There we are. Shout out to my friend Georgia. I can. Gorgia. There we are. What does tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 mean? Sarah, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 means that you've to tell 10 people to tell 10 people to tell 10 people to tell a million people that Scotty McClure has popped up live on TikTok just for you to say dinky do. I think the Harry and Meghan interview is just a bunch of propaganda. But that's just my opinion. Good for you, J Dog. We like to have an opinion. Never a problem with that. Uh, and we'll see what comes out of it, I say. Hello. Hello, Karen. Hi. How are you? Nice to see you. And you. Where are you from? I'm, You're in I'm, Scotland. No, I'm from England. You're from England. Whereabouts? Down south? In the West Midlands. Oh, right. Are you near to Walsall? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm close to Birmingham. Close, closer to Birmingham, absolutely. Coventry, Birmingham, down that way? Yes. Yeah, I'm about half Beautiful. 
beautiful part of the world. Oh, we love it. And... Sorry, someone saying, oh, my God, in my chat. That's famous. As what? He said you're famous. Oh, very famous. Yes, yes, very famous. A legend in my own lunchtime. You can, you can look me up. Yes, yes, very famous. Very well known throughout the world, actually. Apparently over one billion people know Scotty McClue. Uh, That's not bad, is it? Your, what, what's your job? My job, well, television and radio. Oh, I, I'm so, a makeup artist. During the pandemic, we quite like yeah. to um, just pop up. <laughs> See everybody. So it's good chat. Did you say you do makeup? Yeah, well, I'm training. Yeah, for television. I'm just trying no, just general um, for Mac. Are you working? Right, well, days? see, once you get going, you decide to do little bits of freelance for television. Yeah. Pick up a few pennies and get talking to people, and you will love it. They really know their makeup. Oh, I love your accent. Thank you. My old, one of my old tutors was a head of makeup for one of the ITV companies. And um, he once had a police inspector called round and said to him, do you think you could make me up? I'm on an undercover job. He said, I could make you up so that your own mother doesn't recognize you. And he did. And the guy went to his mum's. And stood yeah. on the doorstep and said, hi. And she said, who are you? Well, I'll tell you what. You've, you've, with your followers in there, you need to follow a gentleman called Neil um, Mayju. So it's N-E-I-L-M-A-Y-D-R-E-W. He's amazing. His transformation, he's a gentleman, but he transforms into a lady. You'll be amazed. Just fantastic. Go and follow him, guys, because your lovely content is brilliant. Yeah, awesome. Oh, lovely. Lovely oh, to talk to you, Karen, and then good luck with the future. Yeah, stay safe. You take buddy. care. Brilliant. Yeah, Dinky do. Bye, bye. See you. Bye. Bye, Karen. What a nice. We meet some very, very nice people on here, guys, I say. So there we are. Sarah, dinky do, you're from Glasgow. We are, Katie, yes. So who have we got here? Uh, best internet, there we are. What have we got here? Scott, hi. It takes me back to when I was a whiz kid. Someone has to live in England. Very naughty. I love your lipstick, says Sarah, to the lady that was on fan. Fantastic. So there we go. Um, now then, <clears throat> my dad's from Glasgow, says Katie. You lucky, lucky, lucky girl. Absolutely fantastic. If you've just joined us, guys, it's uh, Scotty McClure. And we are the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. And live here just for you, saying Dinky Doo popping up on TikTok. Dave the Rave says, I'm from East Kilbride. We like that. East Kilbride is a very nice part of the world, I say. Do you do much hill walking, Scotty? Well, not so much nowadays, crab fishing, but I've done a tremendous amount in my day because of having the Labradors. The Black Labrador loves to go hill walking. You never champion your Inverclyde roots. Why is this, Scotty? I always champion my Inverclyde roots. Yes, always speak up for Inverclyde. So there we are. Ah, Scotty McClure, my favorite legend of all legends, says the wonderful Stephen Drummond. Dinky do, Stephen. Fantastic. Now, who have we got here? <clears throat> Scotty, have you ever worn makeup? Yes, I certainly have. As a newscaster for ITV, I used to wear makeup every single day and night. And one night, I forgot to take it off and went home on the late bus with an orange face. <laughs> I didn't realize till I got into the house. I wondered why people were staring at me. They knew I was the guy off the telly, but I had an orange face. <laughs> have you ever walked around the naps? Of course I have, John. Many a time the reservoir there, the naps, and the duchel. You're awesome and amazing. Keep your beautiful, amazing self. Beck, you say such lovely things. And you, remember to stay fabulous. That's my message to you people.
There we are, Dinky Doo, King of the Internet, Scott, lovely to have you with us. Stephen from Trim in County Meath, where Braveheart was filmed. And Stephen, tell me this, was talk radio, the old talk radio based in Trim? It's ringing a bell at the back of my mind here, County Meath. Um, do you know the story about the Whangy? No, but you can tell us about the Whangy. I can see the Whangy when I come uh, down down the motorway in Glasgow. I see the Whangy, and then it disappears as you get down into the dip. Hi, Scotty. How's you? Says James. Get the jazz flag out and start dancing to I'm Feeling It. Did you think so, Stuart? Well, there we are. I was wondering about that. You did have an orange face. What clan are you part of? A very, very ancient Scottish clan going back to the 1100s. My family gave the monks of Paisley the land to build the abbey on. There you are. I'll need to check my uh, title deeds and see in case I still own the abbey. <clears throat> Did you hear the Eiffel Tower? Uh, oh, no, I didn't hear about that. Uh, you and Eric Wallace... With the orange face, no wonder Angus and Fiona were curious. Johnny Young, how do you remember all that? Fantastic stuff. Scotty, where can I find myself one of these fine badges? I have one here, but it's one of the last. So there we go. Scotty McClue says, dinky do to you. Can you all see that? There we are, Scotty McClue badge. Is it better away? or close up. Do we able to tell actually? So there we are. Wonderful. So we need to go and fix it. My dad lived with monks. So there we are. Fantastic. Well, uh, our local chippy, there's a chip monk in there. And there's also a friar. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Dinky you know, where can I get it? Uh, don't worry about that, dear Arthur. We will sort you out once we get going. Fantastic. Yes, geez. Or geese, geese. Sorry. I thought that was geese, but it's geese. As in geese. Give us. Give us that. Geese it. Wonderful. I've got you there. Fantastic stuff. And Dinky Doo from Scotty McLuhan. Glasgow Rangers, Glasgow, Glasgow Rangers. Are you a Rangers man, Finlay? Or are you a Celtic man being kind? Then thoughtful. There we are. Fantastic stuff. My guy, says Jack. Thank you. And there you are. We are the people, says James. We are. We are Scotty McClure's people, I say. Uh, were you live last night? I waited for hours. I didn't see you live. Yes, we went live last night. Um, and I'm trying to think what time we went live. A little bit later. So a little bit later last night, so you couldn't have waited for hours. There we go, but we definitely popped up live. There's Percy saying we are the people. Can I buy your hat, says Sarah. Oh, no, it's very old. It's a Scotty McClue hat. So there we are. Shout out to Blackpool FC, please, Scotty. Absolutely, I'm in. Wonderful club, Blackpool. I can remember listening to the games and all that sort of thing. Can you do a house tour? Well, it's only one room, Sarah. You know, I'm sitting on my bed in the bed sit. There we go. And I shall fold it down later and go for a wee slumber. So that's the stuff. As uh, Scotty, do you think Sonny Bean was real or just a Scottish legend? I need to check that one out for you, Angie. Shout out to Rachel FC. Absolutely. And then, of course, we've got Partick Thistle. We are the Jaggies, the Jaggy, Jaggy Barnets. Neve wants to grow a beard like you, says Sarah. Oh, well, she'll have to just not shave. That's the best plan. <laughs> I do. I've been working on it. Fantastic stuff, Dinky. <laughs> well, now, makeup, you can actually put on a beard with uh, special glue, special gum, and you can stick on bits of beard. So I could have done this with makeup, you see. So there we go. Here we go. Dinky do, Polly. How's your day? This is offline. A very, very good 
day to day offline. So there we are. Fantastic. Hi, Scotty Dinky Doo, says Chicken Girls. You heard the man go and get some special glue, Neve. Uh, why are you in a bed sit with all the money you made at Border TV? Is there a gambling issue? No, no, no. But I did lose, I did lose my life savings through a business deal and it was to do with the other person did have issues, shall we say. So there we are. So by the time you're back on Radio Force, says Scott. Absolutely, Scott. What a great station that is, you know. Every every Sunday morning, Scotty McClue, 10 o'clock sharp, through until 12 midday on Radio 4, the fourth phone in. Lovely Scott FM issues. Uh, no John Young, no issues there apart from the people that took over and thought that they would get by without Scotty McClue and had to sell the station. How silly was that? You know, it's just that sort of madness. Have you noticed in Scotland if something works really, really well and is highly successful, somebody wants to ruin it? They want to ruin it. And, ah, brilliant, Stephen. What's a bed sit, says Sarah? A bed sit is just one room with a bed sitting room. Usually the couch folds down to make your bed at night. I had a friend had one, and you pulled the bed down from the wall. So there we are. You could fold it away. Uh, Atlantic 252 Radio, that's it from Trim. Not Talk Radio, sorry. Yes, but was Atlantic and Talk, were they owned at one time by the same people? I'm just wondering. There were Atlantic 252 and Country 1035. And was that talk radio as well? Can't remember. But anyway, Atlantic 252, Trim in County Meath. And is it right? It's just a wee village, a nice wee village. I'm sleeping till one in the afternoon, says Chicken Girls. Well, if, uh, if you can do that, then you're very lucky. What was the result of the Truth Lie game? Ah, we, we haven't given the result yet. We might just play it tonight. We've got a few minutes. Right, guys. <clears throat> no, I can't do a forehead reveal. Heaven's sake, no. There's my forehead. There we are. Um, right. Are we ready for two truths and a lie? Here it was, as we said the other night. I used to own a major shopping center, right? Scotty McClue owned a major shopping center. I've conducted one of the world's greatest orchestras at the Manchester Arena in front of 20,000 people live. A pilot had to re-trim an aircraft I was on because of my 18 stone of solid muscle. And the plane had to be re-trimmed to get it to fly straight and level with me on it. Which ones are the truths? Which ones are the lies? Off we go. <laughs> so there we are. Uh, Mr. McClure, what can you bench press? Do you mean exercise-wise? I do steps. Dinky do. Fantastic. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Red Rose Gold, 9.99 a.m. Never been the same since you left. What a fantastic station that was. So there we are. And we'll prove it. Are we ready? Here we go. <laughs> what does it say on there? Red Rose Gold. 9.99 a.m. <laughs> and these are the days of the big medium wave stations. Fantastic. Wonderful. <clears throat> now then, Scotty, can you say hi to Yvonne? I can indeed. Sorry to hear that, Scotty. Must admit, I'm a great admirer of you. Love to set up a business with you. Well, absolutely. I mean, this was just the wrong guy. And it's very difficult to do diligence on somebody like that. As I say, he had issues. So there we are. Scotty, the aliens are coming for us. What do you mean, Marty, coming for us? The aliens are here. Some of them have been on here. There we are. I call them, I don't call them aliens. I call them trolls. Can you say congrats to my friend Sarah? She's pregnant with a boy. So there we are. Marvelous 
stuff. There we go. And she knows about whether it's a boy or a girl. Trimming County Meath, small town with a statue of the Duke of Wellington. Wow, Stephen, how very interesting. I must look into this more. There we go. And 55, we are the people. <laughs> Leave. Neve. So there we go. Uh, the Forge Market, Marty. Scotty McClue opened the Forge Market. And remember we did the television commercial on STV? The Forge Market, free parking. Fantastic. Now then, the pilot one is false. The first one is a lie, says Angie. Angie, you don't believe Scotty McClue owned a major shopping centre? Ah... First one's false, is the happy squirrel. This is good, guys. Uh, the second one is true, and the third one is true. Hello, Scotty. Hello, the happy squirrel. There we are. Very interesting. I'll give you the answers at the end. One is true. So Paul says, Paul Walnut says, um, one is the truth. I did own a major shopping centre. Two is a lie. I did not conduct one of the world's great orchestras. And the third one is true, that the pilot had to trim the aircraft with my vast 18 stone of solid muscle in it. So there we are. Well, I'll tell you all later. The orchestra thing's a lie. The truth of the pilot in the market. Chicken girls, how amazing you guys are. Wonderful. When people tell a lie, they raise their eyes to the top right of their head. It's easy, Scotty. Right, you ready, John? <clears throat> Here we are. Top right of their head. I used to own a major shopping centre. Um, I conducted one of the world's great orchestras in front of a crowd of 20,000 people at the Manchester Arena. And... Um, when I was on an aircraft, the pilot had to re-trim it because of my vast 18 stone of solid muscle. What do we think? There we go. What is the truth, John? Come on now. Scotty, we are getting mad with it with the Rangers. Well, I don't get mad with it. Sometimes I go a bit bananas and make a hot chocolate. You know? <laughs> but I did hear the fireworks going off. <clears throat> the second one's a lie. First of the thought of the truth, says Chicken Girls. Yes. Guys, thank you for all the lovely diamonds. Those of you sending diamonds, everybody follow Scotty McClure. Dinky do. I was reading a great book about an immortal dog the other day. It was impossible to put down. We like it, but I don't like your handle. I think we'll have to get rid of that handle. There we go. Oh. So he's going, he'll have to create another account. Not a nice handle. We don't want it on here. Scotty, have you ever watched the Maggie or Whiskey Galore? They're fantastic films. I have watched them both. And I've also watched the remake of Whiskey Galore. And remakes are not normally very good, but this one is. I like it. With Gregor Fisher in it. Anything with Gregor Fisher in it is always excellent. There we are. Why do I have to leave? So there you are. I don't know, Neve. That's between you. Scotty, everyone from Law Village says, hope you're doing okay. You put us on the map. Gary, Law Village. We love it. <laughs> and we were just talking the other day about Sidney Devine. Yes, and he was from... Now, come on. It should be in the tip of my tongue. I was struggling to get it the other day. Cleland. He was a Cleland man. I'm not sure if Sydney was a minor. I think he said his father was. You're looking well, Scotty. VSC. You say lovely things. I thank you. Welcome, by the way. <coughs> Professor Numptyhead. My hobby is designing crop circles. Is this truth or lie you're doing, Numpkeed? What are the other two? Can you congratulate my friend Leave? She's made the football team, says Sarah. Excellent. Two is true. So there we go. So I did conduct the orchestra. So which ones are the lie? One lie. So there are. Did you own Silver Bun? No, it wasn't Silver Bun, Neve. I wouldn't have minded owning Silver Bun. There we are. Wonderful stuff. Uh, yes, and without knowing this, you only 
did it with the pilot. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, have you ever tested the ejector seat in a helicopter? There's a little luxury I've denied myself up till now, Marty. And I might just continue to deny myself that. <laughs> Mr. McClure, whose head have you wanted to tear up? It's made you so mad. Polly? Nobody. So there we are. The person that made off with my life savings... Um, I want to live as long as possible in the best of health. So they have to live with themselves. There we go. So no problem. So no, I've never, I've never been angry like that with another human being. There we are. Did you know they found out? So there we are. Sarah, stop talking nonsense. There we are. My neighbors were setting off fireworks and scared my cat. So there were Egypt's Angie, absolutely. Fireworks should be banned, I think. Dinky do, you're the best, Scotty McClue. Shakarone, I thank you, I thank you. You say happy anniversary to my friend Neve. So there we are, Sarah. I think you two are at it actually. Uh, good man, not watched the remake yet. The Maggie is my favourite. I love. A Clyde Puffer. Mr. BTT, I spent a lot of my life on Clyde Puffers. My uh, grandparents were from Argyle, from Ardrishig, and my grandfather was one of the uh, original old canalers that repaired all the locks and everything. And um, I used to go on the Puffers when I was a child, and all the skippers knew me, and they would put the boat into the side, you'd hear the engine, were both steam and diesel, and they would take me up to the wheelhouse, and I'd get to steer the puffer. Isn't that beautiful? Down the engine rooms as well. So there we are. Did you participate in Citizen Band? Handle. The big Scotty there, one nine for a rig check. What am I hitting you with, over? <coughs> how do, how do, how do, Shakaroni, how do, dinky do, there's still a puffer running at Crinan, the Vic 32, went on a week's cruise once, beautiful, yes, Nick and Rachel, Highland Steamboat Holidays on the Vic 32, known Nick for many, many years, actually met him down south in Oxfordshire. Um, I met Gregor Fisher at a petrol station in Mary Hill three years ago. He was a top guy, chatted for ages. Angie is a lovely, lovely guy and an outstanding actor, of course. Did you own the Paisley Centre or the Piazza in Paisley? Uh, more, like, oh, I'm, more like I owned a pizza in Paisley. So there we are. That would be the 12-inch pizza. That's right, Sarah. Stop talking nonsense, says Neve. Quite right. Don't you worry, Neve. I'm flying for that one. Shall not get away with any other nonsense on here. So there are you. You're obviously two great pals, and you like to wind each other up. Hello. How are you? I'm Fantastic. I love Lovely to see you. Where are you from? I'm from the UK, the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom. And do you live in Scotland, England, or Ireland, or Wales? I live in England. What about you, my dear sir? I'm in Scotland, my dear fellow. Oh, Scotland. <laughs> Lovely. So we I love your personality, by the way, infamous. I appreciate that so very much. But... You're an absolute top man. You're just like, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I appreciate it highly. I pre by the way, how did you make your beard uh, grow? No, I just didn't shave. That, okay. I yeah. just stopped shaving. I was shaving one morning and I thought, why am I doing this? I'm not going out anywhere. We're locked down. So I just stopped. All right. I, I've decided to stop shaving. And guess what? Nothing happened. Nothing. Don't you worry. You just leave it for a nice long time. All right. All right. I'll, I'll take your tips and advice because you seem very wise. <laughs> Will you do me a favor? Yes. Will you stay fabulous? Of course. Without a freaking doubt. Very, very important. Lovely to have you on the TikTok and dinky-doo. By the way, I, I, I've got a question for you. Go on. How many years have you been existing? 
Ooh, we think maybe well over a thousand. Oh, without a doubt. I, I don't doubt you for a second. Your white beard really proves that. I'm, I'm certainly 963 years. All right, that's I'm, amazing. I'm trying to outlive a guy called Methuselah. Oh, you, I hope you make it. I'm supporting you. Let's go. Top man. Have you heard? Have you heard of the IDB movement? The the which one? IDB movement. Right. Tell us more. It's the world most epic movement that will one day overthrow the entire entire internet wow if you have is it bigger than scotty McClure? if you have not heard of it it stands for ibs defense battalion and our specialty is to overthrow the internet surely slowly but surely we will one day all right and if you do live up to a thousand years you will see it happen so do not worry Wow, I will not. I will keep an eye on that. Dinky do. Let's go. What a top man. And overthrowing the internet. So there even more communication, a takeover. Fantastic. There we are. We'll maybe get some shares. <laughs> What's he talking about? I don't know. So there we are. Absolutely amazing. Right. Uh, how are we doing for time? We've got five minutes. That guy's not Siska. <laughs> so there we are. You look cool, so steady, dinky do. Hey, old fella. Says I, Yorkshire lad. Scotty, did you know Terry Wogan? Hey, I didn't know Terry Wogan, but I loved Terry Wogan. He's just my favourite. How'd you call in? Not to you. I don't think you do. I think you just duel with me. But don't ask me how you do it, because I wouldn't know. Dinky do, says Mason. Dinky do, Mason. Fantastic. Is Afi Seed Scottish? Is so that. I remember talking to a, a, an actor about another actor, and I said, Was he not, uh, did he not go a little bit funny at one point? And uh, a wee bit funny, that was it. I said, Did he not go a wee bit funny at one point? A wee bit funny! It was Afi Seed! <laughs> So there we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Can you wish my friend Neve a happy... I'll just wish Neve happiness. Mr. McClure, have you ever been starstruck? All the time. Every time I look in the mirror, I think, oh, my God, look who it is. It's Scotty McClure. Oh, Scotty, we consider a roll in River City. Uh, when you say a roll, do you mean a roll and sausage? Or would I consider a wee part? I would love a wee part in River City. Um, but I want one that Lenny's afraid of me. Do you know what I mean? And we have a conversation that goes like this. Lenny, you know you need to get this right. Do you follow me? Oh, frighten myself there. I frighten myself. Stop. There we go. You'd be a good gangster, says Polly. Thank you, Polly. Yes, I'd have to keep a straight face. So there we are. Absolutely wonderful. Now then, uh, what have we got here? There we go. Wonderful. There's John. Uh, did we? How did we get on with the answers, guys? Sorry, I lost my internet and my phone company uh, said to go online, but I'm off the phone. Devan, right. I don't know if you need the phone, do you? I belong to Glasgow. Around and around, says Ted Zappa. Dinky do. Thank you, Neve. So there we are. Scotty McClue, just for you, saying dinky do. And uh, all that sort of stuff. Now, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to just check once more how we get on with the two truths and a lie. So there we are. What about the mighty teddy bears winning the league? One is a lie, the other two are truths. Okay. One is a lie, the other. And somebody's put true, false, truth. T, T comma, F comma, T comma. Polly has put that. Very clever. Uh, true, false, true. So there we are. Shall I tell you? Shall I tell you tonight? 
<laughs> You've got it, Ted. I thank you, Ted Zappa. Fantastic. Shall I tell you all what's true and what's not true? Right. Or shall I wait till tomorrow night? Tell me. Do I tell you now or do I wait till tomorrow night? I'm going to have to go, guys. We're out of time. Right. Here we go. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zain au revoir and a cheerio. See, loves, take great care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay fabulous. Join us tomorrow night. Ah, the happy squirrel. Dinky-doo. Ta-la-las. Bye.